Well, hello there, guys and girls, and of course, it's Raid here yet again. Oh my God. People with us today, we have the sidekick in the back. The box. We also have everybody's favorite ass. That's A double -S, S. J W. We have, or should I say J W, just to make it sound better. Today we have with us, of course, we've got Alexa. What's going on today? Here's your news. In weather, right now in Cleveland, Cleveland. it's 63 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. Today's forecast has thunderstorms with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 42 degrees. That's all for now. Well, anyway, guys, of course, we are in Barberville, Kentucky today, so... Anyway, today we have the watch chips. We've got the... Oh, wait a minute. It looks like it's that time. It's time for yet another excited, insane, super official. Thought Provokers, Arts, Fiddle, 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 Rockstar Pure Zero, Tangerine Mango, Strawberry, and we are feeling it kick in now. Not really, I'm just pretending. But we have Watts Lime Tornado Chips. Now these are from the makers of Takis Chips, of course, as you can see right there. And um, I've always, it's always been it's always been difficult for me to see why they make lime chips. I think they're one of the most disgusting chips ever made. I'm not a big fan of lime chips, but as always, I'm willing to give a new product a chance, you know. So the last Takis we reviewed, or the last uh, Watch Chips we reviewed, we really enjoyed them, was those cheese ones, I think the originals, it was the uh, Cheese Shock. So we're going to pop these babies open and see if they are any good. We're going to see what, what's just inside the bag here, people. So, as always, remember, same thing like read in the box here, and of course, Lexx Review. You gotta leave a comment below, guys. If we like your comment, we're gonna pick it out and review your request next. Thumbnail, have a super duper duper gooper day. Okay, guys, let's open the bag up here and just smell the freshness. Weird looking chip. Lime tornado. Maybe the lime is not. Well, look at that. Man, look at that. It looks pretty good. Man. Here we go. They smell funny. <coughs> oh my god. They smell like wet chili. Oh my God. What the hell is that? Oh my God. This is the, this is right here, people. This is the closest reenactment you will see to the night I walked in on my ex-wife and I was shocked. When Malcolm was ramming his 12-inch BBC in her Hershey hoe. And um, I'm shocked how bad these are. These are the, this is one of the nastiest chips I've ever had in my life. Oh my God. That is bad. Wow. I think I'm actually seeing things now. That's how bad these are. I'm seeing stars. Wow, this is, act I'm actually shocked, people. Um, if you've ever cleaned chili out from like a pan, you know you, you leave water in there and it's got that kind of smell. I mean, it actually smells like wet chili. It does. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. That sounds like an odd way to describe it, I know, but, 
that's what it smells. It smells like wet chili. And it tastes, it's absolutely the worst taste I've, oh God. Wow. These are, these are unedible. Alexa, what is the worst thing you've ever eaten? Sorry, I'm not sure. You don't know? Okay. What is the worst food in the world? Here is information from Fox News. The ball nut fruit, B-A-L, you bought it, fruit. Cod sperm from Japan. Ugh. Cane rat from China. Anyway, uh, I'm going to eat one more of these. But I think we have ourselves a new champion, people. This is absolutely disgusting. Whew. One more. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Holy. I'm alive. Well, people, we've done it. This is the worst item we've ever had on the show. Um, did not expect this, you know. That right there, when it, the lime touched my lips there, and whatever else they mixed with it, I had to spit it out in that bag there. Now tell me, uh, try these people. If you've never, I dare, I dare you to try these and let me know what you think. If you've had them, let me know. Uh, this is giving me a headache on top of everything else. This is the worst item we've ever had on the show. Worst chips ever. I'm going to have to... Uh... Oh, God, it's in my teeth. Oh, God. I'm not going to review the other flavor of these. I'm not going to do it. I don't care if they're good. I'm done with the Watts chips. The uh, Cheese Shock is very good. Compared to this, the cheese shock is the best thing in the world. This gets a zero. That's right, people. Big, fat zero. They're not even edible. Zero. I hate to give an all company a bad review like that, but I just tell it like it is. And these are, man, just imagine trying to fake that these are good. Do a fake review like people do on here. And just imagine the people actually having to fake it. They're like, oh man, that's the best thing. I mean, if they actually did that, you know. But this is unbelievable. I cannot believe this. Could not, it, I couldn't take the, I couldn't eat, I couldn't even think about eating the second chip. If these are even chips, what are they? I don't know. This is it, people. This is the worst item on the show today. After what? Shoot. For over, what, five, six years of videos? I've had some bad things. But I think I was almost ready to throw up. I was kind of worried there for a second. 
And um, I just spit it out, man. Whew. I've seen the ex-wife get gagged before, you know, when she was taking Malcolm's 12-inch BBC down. But she didn't throw up. She just took it down like a champ. And I can't handle that. I don't think they're, I don't see how these are even on the market. How? I don't know. It's the worst thing I've ever had in my life. That's the official review, people. So we've done it today. We've, uh, I don't know. I'm going to try to survive this. I mean, this is, the aftertaste is just so bad right now in my mouth. It's unbelievable. Anyway, guys, that is the official review. Sorry, I, ha I hate to give bad reviews, like I've said, but I have to tell it like it is. Let me know what you think about them if you tried them. They are absolutely the worst item ever. So that's the official review. Thanks for watching. Give the video a like, as always, guys. We do it 365 days a year. You know, luckily I survived this. You know, I'd hate to die doing a review, but I think we almost died there. They're not safe to eat. We'll see you guys as always tomorrow. Have a great day. Toodles. You know, there's just something special, people, about these dollar drinks. Taco Bell puts a lot of these out every year. Uh, Burger King puts out quite a few also. And it's just very refreshing, you know, as summer is, you know, pretty much right around the corner. Now, hopefully they keep this item out all year for $1 strawberry lemonade freeze it's very delish it's got a very nice strawberry lemonade flavor of course when you add the ice to it oh. 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 when you add the ice to it this makes it even better mm. very refreshing it's very good you know, just when you think you've seen it all, people, just when you think you've done it all, you've eaten it all, you've done the worst, the best, then all of a sudden comes Watts Lime Tornado Chips. And they totally rewrite the books. You know, you thought you saw the worst comic book movie ever with Catwoman. Then something comes along and changes that. The Catwoman's still the worst, maybe. But, you know, that's an example. Just when you think you've seen it all, something else pops up. It always surprises you. And that's what you've done today. If you try these people, come prepared. You may not survive it. Fire warning right there. That's fire warning. Right. Alexa, what's the worst comic book movie of all time? Hmm, I'm not sure. Of course not. What's the worst comic book movie of all time? Let's just see what Here's that. a summary from Business oh, Insider. Of the 25 worst superhero movies of all time, ranked from bad to unwatchable. Yeah. Batman and Robin, yeah. Superman IV, The Quest yeah, for Peace, was... Elektra, Steel, Fantastic Four, Supergirl, The Lone Ranger, yeah. Catwoman, and more. Catwoman's in it. Catwoman's in it. Yeah, Batman and Robin. I, it was kind of a cheesy good time. Elektra was bad. Superman Quest, yeah, it was bad. See, I liked the Supergirl movie because of uh, Helen Slater. Uh, but I was a kid watching that. I've not watched that. So, anyway...